pretty thick woods in here. I'm out this morning doing one of my uh, favorite things to do, just get out in the woods, and it's really windy today. Can't tell in the woods here, but uh, there's quite a breeze, probably about 15, 20 mile an hour breeze at times. And uh, I don't think I'll see anything today. But you never know, we might get lucky. I don't know if the camera can see that, but uh, that's a mouse run. They come out here and they run around looking for food. And then it looks like they go back underneath this twig here, or a little, it's not very big, a little hole in there. I'll be usually carrying uh, my Savage, which has a little Simmons scope on it. And uh, this is in 17 Mach 2, which I think is a very underrated rimfire. Ammo for it isn't always uh, very common. But I tell you what, I would uh, take this over any 22. It is pinpoint accurate, out to over 80 yards, closer to almost 100 yards. Big old tree knocked over. Looks like a big uh, popple. And uh, I just walked through this stand of white pines, and there's a ton of them blowing down here. So, as part of, I guess you would call the homestead lifestyle or prepping lifestyle that my wife and family have decided to start taking on is. Pretty much got to live off the land as much as you can. As far as farming, hunting, trapping, whatever you can do. All I've heard is crows today. I haven't seen anything moving. Uh, yesterday was a better day to be out hunting. Um, then we had a little storm come through, so everything's kind of quiet. But it's still beautiful. The weather's not too too bad. The temperature's not too bad. Get a picture of this tree I just went under. Broke right off. Squirrel. Uh, this is a pond that I like to go to a lot. Mm, obviously, it's dried up. Usually, there's about two, three foot of water in here. The crow. And I do smell a skunk. We might have a little furry friend around here somewhere. I'll have to check it out. I don't think he's in there right now. But uh looks like the skunk was living in this culvert here. Reeks. Whew. Well, this tree's really close to falling over. In fact, it's cracked right there. 
It's got a lean on it. Next good uh, windstorm she could go. The birds and bugs have just been picking the hell out of this thing. This is actually a pretty freaky tree. <laughs> Holy crap, look how much that thing moves around. It's swaying. One push. back out the way I came. Getting ready to This rifle is the uh, Savage Mark II in 17 Mach 2, not HMR. An example of the round is right here. It's like a neck down 22 long rifle, 22 long rifle, and it's a great little round, and this is a great little gun. I've had lots of good luck with this. Uh, if, you, if you don't like the 17 Mach 2, Savage makes this in a 22 long rifle also. It has the heavy barrel, which makes for nice shots. I got a nice little four power scope on it. Uh, easy safety. It does not have the AccuTrigger. This was before they were putting them on everything. Which if I went to get another one, I would get it with the AccuTrigger on it. That's just a great little rifle. A good meat getter. Um, I stock up a lot on the uh, Mach 2 rounds when I find them. Just because they're quite a bit rarer than 22 long rifle. But, uh, Overall, it's a great gun, not very heavy, gets her done, 80, 80 yard shots all day. It does get buffeted a little bit by the wind, but man, it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. And that's it. Have a good day.